you. Good morning, everyone, or good evening, good afternoon, depending on where you are and when you're watching this video. Thank you for joining this part of the Comport Aruba Central series from HPE Aruba. So the topic of conversation that we'd like to cover in this session is focused on very simple, very quick ways to configure a wireless network for a location or across all of your locations directly from Aruba Central. As a reminder, as I mentioned in one of our previous sessions, all EP configurations should happen at the group level. So if you have a group for your access points, or maybe you group those by buildings if they each need slightly different configurations, make sure you're making it at the group level here. Once there, you go to devices on the left-hand side of the screen, and you'll immediately see what access points you have for that group. Same thing if you want to see what switches you have or what ST branch gateways for ST Way you have as well. Once you see this page, you can see which of your Aruba APs is the virtual controller, uh, what their IP addresses are, what their host names are, and what model they are if they're already configured. A lot of great information that's immediately available to you, along with how many are up, how many are down, and how many radios there are in total. Once you verify that everything looks up, looks correct, you can move over to your configuration. And there are two different views for configuration. There is a more basic that is immediately on by default. Or if you want to do detailed, in-depth configurations, maybe you want to tweak a few settings and make them a little bit more customized for your organization, you can simply click Show Advanced, and you'll see all of these additional tabs branch out. The first tab that we'll look at is the WLANs tab. This is your SSIDs. So these are the SSIDs that will broadcast on your network. Um, could be IoT, could be employee, could be voice over IP, could be guest network. Whatever you need to do, it's a very simple four-step process to quickly configure. Once you want to create your SSID and have the configuration in mind, you simply click Add. And you can give it a name. We'll call this Test. You can do the VLAN and client VLAN assignment. So for client IP addresses, there is a built-in DHCP server. If you need that for very small sites with, the, with insufficient access to one of your DHCP environments, and that would be instant AP to, uh, assigned. Or if you have this AP connected and using a valid DHCP server for the VLAN you want your clients to be on, simply leave it as is. From there, you can see which client VLAN assignments you can do. You can do static if you want a single VLAN for the entire SSID. You can name it however you want, and you can set it here. If it needs to be dynamic or rules-based, based on who's connecting and how they, how they connect, you can do dynamic. Or if it's a very simple network for a very, very small flat subnet uh, structure for location, you can just do the native VLAN, which will be the same VLAN that your access point is connected on. The next step in the process covers security. So this is going to be primarily focused on your authentication method. Note that in Aruba Central, WP3 standards for both personal and enterprise are available along with multi-pre-shared key. So depending on how you want to connect to your network, what devices are connecting, please make sure you select the key management that would work best for your organization. If you're doing personal, you'll just set up a simple pre-shared key. You'll retype that, and you're good to go. If you want to do enterprise, there is a built-in server. If you want to statically configure a username and passwords for certain users on there that can be used, or you can simply connect it to a Radius server like ClearPass or Microsoft Radius. If you are using the internal server built-in, you want to add a username, you can also do so while you're here. You can also do so in a separate window um, at a later date if you need to add users. So we can just name this user test123, password, and use one of these predefined types, employee or guest, depending on who they are. Once that's saved and configured, they can use those credentials to log in your network. The final option for security that we'll show is Captive Portal. There is a basic internal Captive Portal. You can redirect to an external Captive Portal, or if you're using the advanced cloud guest features, you can also use that. If you need to use the internal Captive Portal, there is authenticated and acknowledged. For authenticated users, you have to statically configure their username and password in the internal database on the APs. 
If it's simply acknowledged, they just have to click the radio button when they're redirected that says, I acknowledge this page and I acknowledge all the terms and conditions associated with it. You can customize the captive portal by clicking this, the title banner, some of the policy text, and maybe a redirect URL along with your logo. For more information about the advanced cloud guest features of Aruba Central or redirecting to an external server, please contact the appropriate person at Comport through www.comport.com. And then the final step in configuring an SSID for your network is simply defining the access. By default, unrestricted is set at the top. This would allow anyone any access that could be defined on the SSID. Of course, you do have your wired and, wire, wired and firewall access control list that may limit their access beyond that, but there is a layer seven firewall that's built into the APs if you need it. If you want to start using some of the firewalling features of the EAP, you can do network-based. These rules apply to everyone authenticated at the SSID, and they are follow a top-down um, instruction set. So any rule at the top is immediately applied first and follows down the list until a rule that matches that specific case is identified and selected. If you're doing role-based access control or using the role features of Aruba Central, you can set up these access control lists for the individual roles themselves. So you have more personalized setup and the ability to segment users as needed. Once everything is done there, you'll go to the summary page, quickly view the configuration details and make sure that they fit what your needs are and click finish. And there we go. We've successfully sent out a new SSID to every AP in that group. It's as simple as that, it takes a few minutes, and from there you have working networks that you can test with and begin authenticating users through. The final piece that I will show you is just some of the basic system configurations for your group level. These system configurations will be for the virtual controller for your instant AP group. That allows you to set some of the very basic setup of your wireless environment really quickly all from one page. You can set your country code and your time zone. This must be done before any other configurations are saved and completed, just to make sure that if there's any timeouts, anything like that, the appropriate location and time zone are selected there. You can redirect to an NTP server, statically assign the uh, IP addresses for your virtual controller, your uh, DNS that the virtual controller connects to, and any VLAN information you need to. You can also disable console access, web UI access, and prevent any other types of access directly to the AP itself to avoid any security breaches. If you disable these features, please make sure you talk to your specialist at Comport and also your local Aruba team, just to make sure that you don't accidentally lock yourself out of the access point or configurations you need to do down the road. Once you have everything configured, your SSID is configured, your radio is configured, because this is a cloud platform, it holds the configurations and pushes those down to the group. Should any of those configurations fail to push down, you'll very easily be able to see failed configurations and click on this as it is a hyperlink to see the details of what was failed to send. If you did a small editing configuration, you can quickly see that. And if it's just an error from a central, you can click to remove that error message and just make sure that you're taking note just in case there is something that needs to happen or may not be pushed the right way. Well, thank you everyone for joining. I hope you understand how easy it is now to configure a wireless network through Aruba Central. If you have any more questions, want to see more, want to test this out through a trial or a 90-day proof of concept, please reach out to Comport at www.comport.com. They will be happy to get in touch and tell you more. Thanks for joining, everyone.